So let me show you what to do in case a part of your screen doesn't work and it could be more likely the bottom portion of the screen or maybe your screen looks something like this where you have like a line on the screen which isn't responsive. For example, you can see that if you scribble in the notes or if you draw on the screen, there's like really big part that doesn't respond to the touch. Or like one Reddit user reported that only some parts of the screen, certain parts don't react to, to his touch. So in each case, here is what to do about it. And the thing is that it could be either a software related feature or a hardware one. So in case it is a software and it has to do with the software, uh, well, it is technically possible, but less likely. So the bigger chance is that it is a hardware failure. But in case it has to do something with the software, then what you, what you are supposed to do is to find out if this only happens in a certain app. In case you only use like one app, let's say it's a drawing app, and you find out about this, try it out in a different apps and in different environments. In that case, just delete the app or reinstall it, update it. But if you feel like it's going on everywhere inside of your iPhone, then you can also try restarting the entire device and also updating to the latest iOS. Like these steps will definitely be uh, good or will make sense no matter what the problem is. So definitely just do that. I, I know it's a common sense. It's not like a huge deal breaking thing, but yeah, I just have to mention it. But uh, the more likely case is that uh, there is a hardware fault. And in this case, what you have to do is to download an app from the App Store, which will allow you to test out your iPhone and to see which parts of it and which parts of the screen are broken. So for this, I'm going to be using this app and there are plenty of them out there. And it also depends on where you live because some of them may not be available everywhere, but most of them just work on the, I mean, using it the same way, but pretty much. Uh, you just go to your uh, iPhone and open up the app. If you use the one that I'm using here, you can tap on display and here you can see the touch screen set. If you tap on it, then you're going to have to and be able to draw, uh, to draw on the entire screen and you are supposed to touch and fill with color every corner of the screen. If screen gets fully screen explored and I mean if it just works it means that your touch screen works so you can see and drive and you use your finger along the screen to see which parts exactly work and which don't. This is like the test from the notes app but uh, this just covers the entire screen and you know if you have like a drawing area inside an app you can only draw there but you cannot really go outside of the safe area so this app pretty much uses all of that space and it's just how it's supposed to be. And with this app you're gonna be able to find out which parts of the screen exactly don't work. And the thing is that after this, after you know about all of that, now you have to decide what the next step is. In case you find out that only part and small part of the screen doesn't work, maybe you want to go forward with it. So is it okay? Do, do you care about it? Do you want to solve this problem or just keep living with it? In case you don't want to keep living with it, then do you want to upgrade to a brand new device or you would want to get it replaced? Most likely you would like to get only a new screen, which is a good idea, I guess. But the general thing is that right now you at least know what's going on and you know which parts of the screen do not react, are not responsive at all. And if you have some other su suspicions that the iPhone doesn't work in other areas as well, then you can use the very same app and you can try out and test other parts of your iPhone and that's actually really good. So... Uh, you can come back and uh, just test uh, the colors, you can test uh, the brightness, and it's just a good thing to know about it, like, uh, it's definitely a nice way to test out your device. But also, if you expected me to give you, like, like advice to click on some random uh, secret toggle in the, the settings to fix your display, even though it's not working because you dropped it, then something like this doesn't exist, obviously, so... This is just how it works and this is what you can do about it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I provided you some value. In case I did, in case you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if there is something else that you wanted to find out about or hear in this video, just let me know about all of that 
down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it, I try to reply to most of the comments, so chances are I will get to yours as well. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future uploads and we can see each other in the future.